All right, let me show you the things I did. So you saw my other videos. If you watched them, I had messed with some Ubuntu stuff. I installed the 2004 LTS, so it has the X11 desktop instead of Wayland for the windowing system. The benefit of that is it let uh, it makes it easier for me to run like simple screen recorder. I believe that was part of it. The other thing I have done, if you look here, if I use uname a, you can see I have a low latency kernel for recording. I got that through Ubuntu Studio. So let me let me back up to what I did. I'd love to tell you about it. If I use disks, I'll show you what I what I did. I installed a three terabyte drive. What I did was using the Ubuntu installer, I formatted the entire drive. Um, and what I did was I set the first um, partition as an EFI label for two gigabytes. Then I set up two blank 750 gigabyte partitions to uh, work on building things like uh, Arch, Gen2, or Linux from scratch. Then um, I set up a logical partition that was 100 gigabytes, ext4, with the root symbol on it. Then I set another logical partition for the slash home at 1,000 gigabytes, ext4, because, you know, I, a lot of files go in the home folder. And then a, another logical for swap. And that was 100 gigabytes. I made that for the swap. We can discuss why I set it up like this. And I left 299 gigabytes free space at the end of the logical partitions this way. So uh, the Linux from scratch will probably need to go on uh, outside of the logical partitions. When I set up the Ubuntu install, I told it to include the third-party stuff. So what is that third-party stuff? Let me show you. Um, when you install it, it's going to include proprietary drivers like restricted or software restricted by copyright or legal issues. That's the multiverse and uh, some of the universe stuff. So I think if you don't include that, I think you just get the main. Uh, the other thing that I did, the Brave Web Browser is in the Snap Store. So I was able to install that, but Vivaldi was not in the Snap Store. What I did was, is I had to go um, to Vivaldi itself. See where it says download Vivaldi browser for Linux? And I downloaded the dev package. Then what I did um, is I opened with software install, and it installed it. And if you look, let's see, where did, uh, if, if you look in the software, this, look at other software, it automatically set me up 
with the Debian stable repo for Vivaldi. Now to get Ubuntu Studio installed, I followed this guide on installing. And I wanted the Ubuntu LTS official. So um, then you use the command line and you put sudo apt install Ubuntu Studio installer because you can't find it in the Snap Store. Uh, then I went to this page from Page Linux, uh, part of the Destination Linux network. I followed this guide. Um, I used the, I just followed the directions using the uh, software updater and set this stuff and I think the sound should be fine in here fine in here and I installed the different stuff uh, but I didn't do the Ubuntu Studio controls yet on here I didn't set this stuff yet up that I'll do uh, another day I went as far as this to installing so that's why I have the low latency kernel and everything but everything's running pretty good already uh, just having installed the Ubuntu Studio stuff my only issue with Ubuntu Studio is to put all this stuff in here I don't even know what they are um, it put the Jack keyboard it put Jack in here I'm not too familiar with Jack or Carla so I have a lot of stuff to learn. And also, uh, there's uh, I'm going to reorganize this because I don't want all this stuff out here. I'm pretty sure I can make sub, um, what is it called? Um, uh, like subfolders in this. So that'll be the next thing that I'll do. In any case, I thought you'd uh, you might find that interesting, um, and uh, Lord willing, um, I'll continue telling you about what I'm doing here later.